Hello, I'm still locked up. <laughs> well, quarantine isolation, that is. But not for long, because I'm going to escape again today. Only today, I'm going to go from Almeria, where I ended up yesterday, or the last time, and I'm going to go to Madrid. Here I am. I'm Ryanair 186. Now, the first thing that we need to do, of course, is to do the pre-flight. So, here you can see the information from the SIM brief uh, documents. Anyway, at the top of the page, you can see we are uh, Ryanair Flight 186 on the 21st of April, going from Almeria to Madrid. And that's the aircraft tail number, the E-I-E-F-Y at the end. What we look now for is the flight level that we are going to get the best fuel and best um, economy from. And that's going to be flight level 320. That's 32,000 feet. And that is our route all the way to Madrid and we will be taking the Morales 4C approach when we get there. It's page two and on this page you can see the other essential information that we will need. We'll need to know the cost index which is 10. We will need to know the average wind speed on our descent for putting into the FMC. And then at the lower section here you can see what the fuel is going to be. Our block fuel, that is the fuel that we're going to actually consume from engine start all the way to engine shut down with all of the reserves, is 6016 kilograms. Our reserves are 2.8. And it's expected that the trip and taxi would be 2.5 altogether. We will need this information for programming into the FMC. And then on this page, page 8, there you can see the descent figures. What we're looking for are the figures 200, 150 and 100 values. Now this is our route and you can see there is quite a little bit of um, weather and this is our profile that dotted line that you see there is the tropopause that's the interface between the troposphere and the stratosphere and we are going to go all the way up to the tropopause and then we will be flying into the stratosphere where the air is a little bit more stable and our passengers won't get air sick. Well, if you're ready, let's get in the cockpit. Fasten your seatbelts. See you at the other side. Right, first thing we do, <clears throat> we turn on the battery. We have 28 volts. Turn on the aft fuel pump. We need a little bit of fuel. And then we start the APU. We'll be watching for this dial to go up and then it will come back down to around four. And when that does happen, this blue light will turn on, telling us that we have power coming from the generators on board the APU. And therefore, we're going to switch to that so that we can have 115 volts going into our system. It's coming back down now. There it is. Push both of those down. So now we have 
115 volts showing on our voltmeter here. So next, let's turn on the galley so that we can get ourselves a nice cup of tea. Emergency lights, no smoking, then the left and the right window heat, left and right probes, Turn on the electrical and here, turn this on which is the APU feed bleed and then turning those on we can now get either heat or we can get air conditioning to our passengers who are boarding in the back. Turn this on to steady to let everyone know that we are in an active position. Right, next thing we want to do is turn on the IRS. So, position, we are at L-E-A-M and put that in. Let's go down to the next page and that is our GPS loca location. So push that and then it goes into the temporary menu, memory I should say, back up, push it in there. Now we have everything set up. We'll go to the root our origin. Now, in a real aeroplane, we wouldn't be able to do this, but since we're on PMDG, this is loaded in so that it will come in automatically for us. So, we've actually loaded up the flight plan. Up here, we're going to put in our identifier, which is RYR186 right there and then we're going to put that up into there. Activate and press that. Next we're going to put in a fix. Now this puts in lines around our destination airport which of course is L-E-M-D and we want lines at slash 4 uh oh slash four it goes up here slash one zero goes here slash three zero goes here they're useful lines the 30 mile line means that that particular point I can actually can call the uh, tower at Madrid outside of 30 miles you don't seem to be able to pick anything up. Now I'm going to go to the descent and we're going to go into the forecast and I'm going to start to enter the information here. While we listen in Lima, Echo, Mike, Delta, Airport Information, Charlie, 1030, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 10,000, sky clear, temperature, 10, dew point, 2, QNH, 1026, advice on initial contact, you have information, Charlie. These are, we took these from our flight briefing. And we just heard that we're at 1026 is the QNH for Madrid. And at two, flight level 200, it is 8517. 
Al Maria. Ground. Orbit 4111. IFR 2. Shannon. Ready to copy. Orbit 4111 is cleared to Shannon Airport as filed. Fly runway heading. Climb and maintain 10,000. Departure frequency is 118.35. Squawk 1325. Orbit 4111. Cleared to Shannon Airport as filed. Fly runway heading. Climb and maintain 10,000. Departure on 118.35. Squawk 1325. Orbit 4111, read back is correct. Contact ground on 121.7 when ready to taxi. Now we want to find out what we are going to be taking off on what runway. So, let's get some taxi clearance. There is no ATIS at Almeria, so we have to get the taxi options. We're going to Almeria, go. Almeria ground. Orbit 4111. Ready to taxi. IFR. Orbit 4111. Taxi 2 and hold shorter. Runway 25. Using taxiway Charlie Tango 2. Sierra 3. Runway 7. Contact tower on 118.35 when ready. Taxiing. Hold short. Runway 25. Using taxiway Charlie Tango 2. Sierra 3. Runway 7. Orbit 4111. Well, that was useful. We found out what the uh, runway was from someone else. Now, for back into the arrivals, we believe it's going to be 32 left. So we'll select this one, and it's going to be Morales 4C is going to be our approach. There it is. Put that in and to it. Now we'll go and check to find out whether or not we have any brakes. And for that, I switch on to this, onto the plan, and then simply go through each of the steps. in. We have a good flight plan and so everything is set. Now we need to go into and perform the initialization. So we're going to be using a total of 5.4. Our reserves are 2.5. Pushing that twice gives us the zero fuel weight. Cost index is 10 because this is Ryanair. And we are flying at 320. Our cruise wind is 3108. Slash 08. Good. Execute. We're going to just put in here the uh, slash 16. For takeoff, we'll use flaps 5. Calculate central gravity there and 146. Okay. We now have everything that we need to do the rest. And now we'll put the rest of it into this section here. So, 146. 253 is our departure heading. Set up 32,000 here for the pressurization. The landing altitude, landing elevation is 1,933, so we need to go 1,000, 
950 for that. Right. Okay. Well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Since everybody's on, I'm going to turn this light off and I'm going to now get permission to taxi to the active from the tower. All Maria Ground, Ryanair 186, request taxi to the active. Departure to the north, Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold shorter runway 25 via taxiway Delta Sierra 3, runway 7, contact tower on 118.35 when ready. Taxi hold short runway 25 using taxiway Delta Sierra 3, runway 7, Ryanair 186. Right, we have our clearance. We will close the stairs. Close the forward hatch, just check that the lights go off. Good, it's cleared the board. I have Navigraph charts on. So that little red diamond, or red triangle I should say, is going to follow our location. So here's what we do then to start the engine. So we're presuming everything is set. So let's just check this, check that. Good, we have 109.9 I believe is correct. Yes, it is. Almeria Ground, Air Force 3 Minor 20, IFR 2 Umer, ready to copy. Air Force 3 Minor 20 is cleared to Umer Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 5000. Departure frequency is 118.35, squawk 5621. Air Force 3 Minor 20 cleared to Umer Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 5000. Departure on 118.35, squawk 5621. Air Force 3 Minor 20, red back correct. Contact ground on 121.7. Alright, we turn on our fuel and we're going to stay in position and start the engines here since we are next to the taxiway. So we'll start. The engine's number two to start off with, so I'll switch to generator two up here and then turn the air conditioning off to the cabin. If you've ever noticed, it always goes Almeria, up just before the uh, engines are started. And then we'll start the left engine. I'm going to look for 24 on that. And then I'm going to introduce fuel. Taxiing hold short runway 25 via taxiway Delta Sierra 3 runway 7 Air Force 3 minor 20. Good. I think we've got a burn. Engines are starting up. We have 115 volts. We've got a good engine start. Turn this over to generator one. Turn on the engine. Wait for 24. Give the fuel to the engine. Make sure that we have good ignition. It's going up, good. Have a good burn. Have 115 volts. That's good. 
Now we switch over onto the main engines for power. Turn on the air conditioning again, much to the relief of the passengers. Turn off the APU bleed and turn off the APU here. Now, we're going to make a left turn and we're going to ignore that pushback contraption since we don't need to be pushed back and it shouldn't be there anyway. So, taxi lights on. And TCAS in standby. Brake off. Auto brake to RTO. Flaps 5. Look right, make sure the taxiway is clear. Sorry about the frame rate. I've learned to live with it but it's only pronounced when we're doing left and right and we're on the ground. My frame rate at the moment is about 12 or 13 frames per second. Not particularly brilliant. Now we have to go all the way to the end of the taxiway The Air Force jet just pulled out onto the taxiway ahead of us. Oh, he's going straight for the runway. There's Ryanair parked over there. controls they're all right making sure everything is working as it should and those passengers who were sitting in the tail while I did my rudder check they would have a bit of a an interesting experience I would have spilled their champagne
right, here we are at the whole short line for runway 25. Let's get clearance to take off. Almeria Howard, Ryanair 186 at runway 25, ready for takeoff, departure to the north. Ryanair 186, cleared for takeoff, runway 25, departure to the north, approved. Cleared for takeoff, runway 25, Ryanair 186. We've been given clearance, so check. Flaps 5, RTO set. All lights on, continuous. TCAS is now active. Attendance, buckle up. Look left, look right. Make sure that the runway is clear and there's nothing coming. all of our wonderful passengers champagne and caviar as if up on our first fix. And we'll be making a bank to the right in just a moment to continue on our route.
10,000 feet. Turn off all the lights. Here's the bank on our course. When we level out, I'll turn off the seat belts to allow people to move about. Lima Echo Mike Delta Airport Information Delta 1030 Zulu Weather Wind Calm Visibility 10000 Sky Clear Temperature 102.2 QH 1026 Advise on initial contact
got to the top of the climb.
and we'll be at our top of descent. We'll start to descend then into Madrid.
Well, we've just made our course change onto the Morales 4C approach into Madrid. And we are on time and on course. Just passing through 25,000 feet on our descent. Suarez Madrid Barajas, airport information, Quebec 1401, Zulu, wind calm, visibility greater than 20 miles, sky condition, clear, temperature 102.2, altimeter 1026, landing and departing, runway 32 left, runway 32 right, runway 33 left, runway 33 right, runway 34, runway 34 left, runway 36 right and runway 36 left. VFR aircraft, say direction of flight. All aircraft read back, hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have Quebec. Well, we have Quebec. And the 
prognosis for landing on 32 left seems to be holding. Seville Center, orbit 3194 with you. Orbit 3194, Seville Center, Roger. Ryanair 186, contact Madrid Center on 135.95. Going to 135.95 Ryanair 186. Madrid Center, Ryanair 186 with you. Ryanair 186, Madrid Center, Roger. Ryanair 186, contact Madrid Center on 118.75. 118.75 Ryanair 186 Madrid Center Ryanair 186 with you Ryanair 186 Madrid Center Roger
we're just approaching the 30 mile line that we put in for the fix. And seat belt signs are on. Madrid Center Air Force 4343 is climbing through mile 1104 1, 1000 Air Force 4343 Madrid Center Roger Altimeter 1026 Ryanair 186 contact Madrid approach on 127.1 Going to 127.1 Ryanair 186 Air Force 43 Madrid approach, Ryanair 186 with you, 11700. Ryanair 186, Madrid approach, Roger, altimeter 1027. given landing instructions for 3-2 left and we're at 10,000 feet turn on the lights and get the cabin crew to collect all the complimentary champagne and whatever's left over of the caviar and biscuits is out there over on our left so we'll be turning in in just a moment
be turning in on final in a short while. When that happens, and I get to lock on the approach VOR, that's when I will do a VOR localizer lock on here, and that will keep us right on course. we're starting to get on to our final and when the diamond goes solid and comes close to the center line that's when I will lock on and we have a lock Airport's directly over ahead there. And lock on the approach. to left is directly up ahead. There's the 
outer marker. We're right on course. And we'll go gear down. And we have three green lights. to watch out for the traffic at Madrid, the kamikaze drivers, you know, just absolutely dreadful.
22, this is us. is moving in and we'll start to shut down Well, welcome to Madrid. I hope you enjoyed the flight and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.